Hello, Delaware, and welcome to another edition of SNL Saturday Night Library Trivia. This series was created by Carrie and Amber from the Powell Branch. I'm your host, Mandy, also from the Powell Branch. Here are the rules. Today, there are three rounds of trivia. Grab a piece of paper and a pen if you want. Feel free to pause this video at any time. There is no time limit, no cheating, and the prize for the winning person or team is that you know a lot about animals, because this week's theme is... Animals! So round one is animal trivia. Round two is animal groups, which is like my favorite because they all have weird names. And then round three is TV animals. Get, look at that guy. Okay, get ready. Look at him. <laughs> so cute. Round one, animal trivia. Question one, what animal has the longest lifespan? A blue whale, a giant tortoise, a locust, or an elephant? Do you guys like my little raccoon guy this week? <laughs> I think he's really cute. We have a raccoon living under our shed, I think, because my dogs sniffed it the other day and the raccoon was like, ka, 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 ka. <laughs> so it could be a possum. I don't know. I'll let you guys know. Question two, what is the only mammal capable of true flight? Hummingbirds, flying squirrels, ocelots, or bats? Question three, what is the fastest flying bird in the world? The harpy eagle, the peregrine falcon, the horned sun gem, or the spine-tailed swift? I, some of these may not be real birds. I don't know, put it in the comments. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Question four, a newborn kangaroo is about the size of a plum, a lima bean, a grapefruit, or a watermelon? Newborn in this case meaning has entered the pouch, not has left the pouch. Question five, what is the gestation period of a blue whale? Four to six months, 16 to 18 months, 10 to 12 months, or two years, whoa. <laughs> All the moms out there are like, ugh, <laughs> just thinking about two years. Question six, what is the smallest mammal in the world? A numbat, a pygmy marmoset, a bumblebee bat, or the western harvest mouse? Question seven, how far away can a wolf smell its prey? A half a mile, four miles, two miles, or one mile? I saw a coyote the other day on South Section Line by the quarry, by the way, so if you're all driving, watch out, because he was gorgeous, first of all, but also don't hit him, because it could mess up your car and also would really mess up the coyote, <laughs> so be careful. It was cool to see, though. I saw um, a fox on Warrensburg the other day, too. They were, like, running around, not on Warrensburg. Eight, what is the world, uh, a spider question. <laughs> what is the world's most poisonous spider? The Brazilian wandering spider, the brown recluse, ah! The Sydney funnel spider, or daddy long legs. Ugh. I don't like spiders. I don't like them. Brown recluse is a fear. I think it's serious. I remember when the first one east of the Mississippi occurred. I'm not a fan. I don't like them. I don't, I know you guys are in the comments gonna be like, oh, they eat, no, I don't care. I don't like them. Mice, great. Snakes, fine. Bats, love them. The spiders need to stay away from my house. Nine. How many times can a hummingbird flap its wings per second? 20, 40, 80, or 160? Question 10. What animal has the highest blood pressure? It's me. <laughs> uh, no, giraffes, blue whales, elephants, or fleas. <laughs> this is an interesting question because you have to think of what blood pressure does in a positive way to your body. Like, what's its purpose? Question 
Question 11. How big is the largest known ant colony? 370 miles, 3,700 miles, 37 miles, or 3.7 miles? This is one of those where I was like, I have no idea. <laughs> How crazy. that um, I, I hope it's 3.7. I don't know. All right, question 12. What is the largest of the great apes? The mountain gorilla, the eastern lowland gorilla, the orangutan, or the western lowland gorilla? Amber always does a really good job of not giving you any easy answers for these. Like, any of those could be correct. <laughs> Question 13. Which organ can account for up to 30% of a shark's total body mass? The stomach, the kidney, the liver, or the heart? Question 14. What percentage of a cat's bones are in its tail? 2%, 10%, none, or 20%? What percentage of a cat's attitude is in its tail? 100%. <laughs> And question 15, dolphins have been trained by the U.S. Navy to blank, to find enemy swimmers, all of these, to locate underwater mines, or to guard nuclear arsenals. Alright, round two is going to be animal groups, so I'm going to list the name of an animal and you tell me what a group of them is called. Question one, what is a group of ravens known as a spree, an unkindness, a fever, or an ambush? Question two, what is a group of crows called? A murder, a convocation, a colony, or an ambush? If you come to the Pal Ranch, you will probably often see me feeding the crows outside. We have a small group. I will not tell you what the name of the group is. I almost gave that away. <laughs> um, but their names are Russell Crow, Crow T. Robot. I forget the third one's name. Boris, maybe. I think it was Boris. But, yeah, they're cool. They come over. Question three. What is a group of frogs called? An army, a league, a team, or a pack? Question four, what is a group of toads known as? A basque, a knot, a leap, or a streak? This is about the time, be care, watch out for toads outside. I don't like hit them or knock them over or anything. <laughs> this is the point where toads start to wander around my yard all the time. They're cool. My dogs always sniff them and go, ugh, what is that? <laughs> Question five, what is a group of elephants known as a ton, a parade, a band, or a troop? Question six, what are a group of giraffes called? A gang, a zeal, a tower, or a drove? This group of bears is called the Berenstein Bears, but what are a group of bears called? A sloth, a den, a troop, or a shadow? Question eight, what is a group of cobras called? A charm, a gang, a shiver, or a quiver? 
a problem. <laughs> they don't seem to me to be very like, I don't know. Maybe maybe cobras do live in groups. Put it in the comments. I don't know. I picture them as a, a lone wolf, but maybe they're not. I don't know. I don't know anything about cobras except I don't want to be that close to one. Question nine. What are a group of hyenas called? A camp, a cackle, a conspiracy, or a stench? Ooh, I knew this one. Question 10. What are a group of jellyfish called? A bloat, a drift, a smack, or a gam? Question 11. What are a group of locusts called? A plague, a fog, a pandemonium, or a crash? should put in these next couple if you know which movie the picture comes from you get an extra point but I honestly don't remember asking people in the room hold on it's a bug's life it's a bug's life <laughs> okay I guess you got that one give yourself a half a point for cheating <laughs> for us giving it away <laughs> question 12 what are a group of porcupines called a family a labor a prickle or a dray that isn't from a movie or anything there's a couple in these that are like uh Disney or or um Pixar, like the he the hyenas from Lion's King was before, for Lion King, whatever that movie is. <laughs> I'm not good at Disney, you guys know this. Ah, question 13, what are a group of flies called? A parliament, a business, a bevy, or a game? Is this also Bugs Life? Yes. Yes, no points to, no po extra points. <laughs> I'm just asking. <laughs> Question 14. What are a group of grasshoppers called? A cloud, a bale, a nest, or a scurry? I feel like until a couple a couple years ago you didn't see grasshoppers that much in Ohio. Now I think they're back and it's kind of cool. They're, they're a funny animal. Neat. And 15. A blessing is a group of angels, leprechauns, unicorns, or saints. <laughs> I guess this is kind of, the picture's kind of a clue, but you gotta pick one. Round three is TV animals. I'm going to show you a TV animal. If you can name the show that it's from, you get a point. If you can name the animal, you get two points, I think. <laughs> I believe. <laughs> we'll work it out. I think it just says the name of the animal on the slides for the answers, but we'll figure it out. All right, so name of the animal, one point. Name of the show, an extra point. Question one. Question two. So, I'm realizing that the show and the animal have the same name like 90% of the time now that I think about it. It's fine. <laughs> Rumors they just gave this horse, I almost gave away the name, uh, just peanut butter constantly because then it would make him move his lips a bunch. I don't know if that's true or not. <laughs> Question four. Question five. Question six. I'm not going to do an impression of this. It's terrible. I can tell it, it's terrible. I haven't even had to say it. It's terrible. <laughs> do an impression at your house if you want. Question seven. Question 
tonight. Question nine. Question 10. Question 11. There's a, um, a re-up of this show that still has this character, um, but the character looks a lot different. <laughs> Question 12. Question 13. I'm not going to do an impression of this one either. It's equally terrible. <laughs> Question 15. <laughs> it's time for answers. Look, his ears disappeared. All right, round one, animal trivia. The lifespan of the giant tortoise is 150 years, making it the longest living animal on the planet. That's crazy. Question two, bats are the only mammal capable of true flight. A bat's wing is like a human hand. This is all kinds of good information. Um, thousand species of bats. They're also like a nice thing to have around. They eat insects, don't kill bats. They're, they're good, a good thing to have around. You just wanna keep your distance. Question three, the peregrine falcon, they're so cool, is the fastest thing in the air. It can dive at almost 200 miles per hour, and it's also the fastest animal on Earth because they can fly so crazy. It's crazy. I love peregrine falcons. Four, a newborn kangaroo is about the size of a lima bean. Little tiny. Five, the gestation period of a blue whale is 10 to 12 months. Whew. Six, the smallest mammal in the world is the bumblebee bat. Look how cute he is. Lives in the uh, River Kwai in Western Thailand. It's an endangered species and it is the size of a penny. It's the weight of a penny, literally. Look at him, look how little. So cute. One. Seven, the wolf has 200 million scent cells inside of its nose. It can smell 100 times better than a human being. Under favorable conditions, it can smell its prey for almost two miles. It's crazy. Eight, the most venomous spider on earth is the Brazilian wandering spider. I didn't look up a picture of it. I don't want to see a picture of it. <laughs> Nine, the hummingbird can flap its wings 80 times per second, causing it to audibly make a humming sound. It's crazy. Ten, the animal with the biggest, the highest <laughs> blood pressure of any animal is the giraffe. It's 280 over 180, which is average because it has to pump so much blood through its body. Not surprisingly, because of the high blood pressure, they can are prone to heart attacks, which I did not know. 11, the largest recorded contiguous colony of ants is 3,700 miles. It's Northern Italy all the way to, uh, across the Atlantic coast down to Spain. Like, think of that. It's crazy, or up to Spain. Up to Spain. From Italy, it's up. Yep, okay. Question 12, the mountain gorilla is the largest of the great apes. They're huge. 13, unlike bony fish, sharks do not have a swim bladder. Instead, they rely on a large liver filled with oil. <laughs> that sounds unpleasant, but there, there you go. 14, 10% of a cat's bones are in its tail. It's part of their vertebrae, and it's used primarily for communication and balance. 
and 15. All of these have been uses from the U.S. Navy using dolphins. <laughs> so they've found enemy swimmers, they've located underwater mines, and they have guarded nuclear arsenals. It's crazy. All right, animal groups, round two. Question one, it is an unkindness of ravens. It is a murder of crows. <laughs> That's my favorite one. An army of frogs. A knot of toads, toadies. A paradise of elephants. They are a paradise. That's nice. I love an elephant. A tower of giraffes. Makes sense, right? A sloth of bears. I would have gone Dan, I think. But it's a sloth. A quiver of cobras. A cackle of hyenas. Also makes sense. A smack of jellyfish. That one I knew. A plague of locusts. Yes. That makes sense, too. A prickle of porcupines. A business of flies. A cloud of grasshoppers. That also makes sense. And unicorns are a blessing. It is a blessing of unicorns. <laughs> so if you ever find more than one, it's a blessing. <laughs> All right, round three, TV animals. This is Lassie from Lassie. It's a miracle that Timmy isn't in the well. <laughs> He's out and about. Mr. Ed from Mr. Ed. Curious George from Curious George. <laughs> Some of these are easy. Dino from the Flintstones. I don't know what I thought his name was, but I don't think it was Dino. Flipper from Flipper. Woody Woodpecker from Woody Woodpecker. <laughs> Shouldn't have done two points on these. It's too easy. Marcel from Friends. As I believe a Reese's monkey, if I'm incorrect, put it in the comments. Felix the Cat from Felix the Cat. Bullwinkle from The Rocky and Bullwinkle Show. Clarice from Rudolph. I believe that's a movie, not a TV series, but it's fine. Salem from Sabrina the Teenage Witch. If you've seen the new one, obviously. Uh, Salem. Salem's not in it as much as the old show. Silva from The Lone Ranger. Yogi the Bear from Yogi Bear. Bugs Bunny from Looney Tunes. You can make an argument in the comments, but I'm going Looney Tunes. And Mighty Mouse from Mighty Mouse. So, how did you do? Zero to 20? Yeah, you're a party animal. You're not paying attention. 20 to 30, you're still monkeying around a little bit. And if you're over 30, you are the king of the jungle. Thanks for playing, everybody. Join us again next week. I'm not exactly sure what our theme's going to be, but as always, if you have ideas for themes, you can put it in the comments or email me at askpal at delawarelibrary.org.